Hi, my name is Stephanie and we're here at the Rochester Museum and Science Center with my friend Pierre. Pierre is a Mali Euromastix lizard. So they're from Mali, Africa. They also live in Algeria. As you can see, he's another reptile we have here. And he has a very colorful back. Euromastic males have colorful patterns on their back. Well, the females are all black. So that is an example of sexual dimorphism that these guys have. You can see Pierre is very active. He likes to be out and about. In the desert though, where they live, it's very hot. They like it to be about 110 degrees in their habitat. So we have a special light for them where they can go thermoregulate under or find different temperatures that they would like. They also have hideaways where they can go to cool down. In the wild, Pierre would eat different greens, pretty much anything that they could find out there in the desert, as well as seeds. He loves lentils and split peas. Those are his favorites. They may also eat an insect or two when they come along. You might see some white around Pierre's nose and mouth. Those are called snout glands. That's a funny word. That helps him get rid of excess minerals because there's no water in their environment and we don't keep any water here in his habitat either. That would actually hurt them since there was no water where they're from in the wild. You can see the Euromastix has a spiny tail and that's one of his defense mechanisms. They're also called spiny tail lizards sometimes if Euromastix is too hard to say. So when a predator comes along, he can use his tail to help fend them off. That wouldn't feel very good in anyone's mouth. That tail. You can also see he has some long claws for helping him dig up those seeds that he likes. And I hide his seeds in his environment, so he has to use those claws to dig them up as well. This is Pierre, and I'm Stephanie. Thank you so much for joining me today at the Rochester Museum and Science Center.